Hey there, welcome to Divine Guidance by Sage. I am Sage the Intuitive and I'm here to do a reading for the sign of Gemini in regards to love. This reading is timeless, so whenever you come across it is when you are meant to see it. We're going to dive in and see what messages are going to come out. This could be messages, things that have happened in the past, the present, or the future. Take it as it resonates. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus placements. If this is not your reading, um, check out your other placements. Or, you know, the next reading may be your story. We are going to dive in in a moment. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. I am available for private readings. Um, information is in the description box. All right, let's go for the sign of Gemini. What do we have for Gemini's, please? So Gemini, we have forgive. So someone here is, um, Spirit is asking someone to forgive. Um, it could be potentially forgiving themselves, but you may need to um, forgive someone else or someone needs to forgive you um, I always say forgiveness is not for the other person forgiveness is for you so that you can move on it is for your own sanity so then we have mutual symbiotic this is um, whatever the situation here you and whoever you're in a relationship with or situation where you guys are feeling the same about each other um, you have the same feelings you share things amongst each other um, you guys both have, um, you know, similar values and um, that you share amongst amongst each other. Um, I there was there is um, there could have been some type of betrayal, which is why forgiveness is here. Um, I always say, and this card says it too, when there is some type of deception or betrayal, it is a teaching moment. Um, and it, is, it could potentially be moving you forward to the next level in your life. And then I have um, sacred sexuality. Um, it says this connection has a potential for a sacred tantric alchemy. So maybe this, again, this is somebody who um, shares the same things as you. But you guys also could have had a strong um, intimate bond amongst you. And uh, so we're going to see what all of this is about. Why is this forgive here for our Gemini's, please? Why is the forgive card here? Okay, this is too many cards. Forgive. Why is forgive here? Okay, so someone here, um, there was some type of conflict here. Maybe someone was dishonest. Um, but whatever happened here, it triggered something in someone. It um, could have triggered some abandonment issues. It could have triggered some self-worth issues. But it absolutely triggered um, something. Whatever this conflict was, triggered something in a person that was that is here um whoever this this person that you're dealing with this is a higher level of a commitment um this is potentially like a soulmate um of of whoever that you need to forgive you person you people have a soul tie to each other that makes that leads me to that mutual symbiotic that you have shared value so this is somebody that you have a strong soul tie with there could be a change in the winter time to come or there could have been something that happened in the winter time um, um that has acts that is why you're you know seek somebody needs to be forgiven here and um some type of truth needs to come out or maybe um someone needs to express themselves and they're they are not someone here could have been putting on some type of false mask and um there could be something that had to be around the, the um, belief systems about you and your person there was some type of toxicity here in this situation as well and potentially why 
it's time for you to forgive yourself or this person. Maybe you you need to forgive yourself for even being in the situation. I know we have a tendency to beat up on ourselves when a situation does not go as we would have liked them. And we feel that we have done something wrong. But um, that doesn't necessarily mean um, fair to be true. Okay, so let's see why this mutual symbiotic is here. So this is saying you and your person, this is a bit, this is a balanced connection. You and your person have the same feelings. So why is this here? Yeah, so someone this I feel this still deals with this forgiveness, but someone here felt rejected. Um, someone felt like at a loss behind whatever this um, situation, whatever your situation was that is requiring some sort of forgiveness. But someone here felt very rejected. Um, this could have also brought forth some kind of inner child um, wounds that have that need to be healed. And that is why this happened because of um, some things need to be healed. Um, you know, trust in, in the process. But whoever this person was, I think that this is both of you guys. This has brought in some type of wounds for you both, not just for one of you over, you know, the other. Um, this could have been around some type of contract, career, or commitment um, that caused, caused this strife or whatever was going on here. Um you and this person have a lot of attraction towards each other. This is a very fiery card to me. Every time I see this card, I think of like um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's a very fiery card. Maybe you're dealing with someone who is a fire sign. But mutually, you both felt some type of attraction to each other. Um, your higher self is here to try to, to bring some type of harmony to um the situation but harmony for both of you and not just for one over the other let's see what this betrayal is about so this betrayal is about something that has to be behind some type of decision that was not made um so this person here is turning their back trying to figure out which which road to go on so some the Something about this decision—a uh, decision that wasn't made. You could potentially have to be dealing with someone who's a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It doesn't it doesn't have to be um, specifically, but you could be dealing with someone from with that sign. I feel like the betrayal came from the masculine energy. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a man. Masculine could be male or female, but whoever was um, the masculine energy in this situation. Um, but this, this betrayal card is also about trusting the process and understanding that there is something to learn from this process. That's why we have the purpose card here. There is something to learn about this whole process. You are going to get some type of clarity or you haven't gotten some type of clarity. Your third eye is opening. You're, you're getting um, messages and understanding and seeing things that typically may have not um, been something that you would have noticed in the past and you are now noticing um noticing it um anything else about why this betrayal is here anything else for betrayal you could also, I mentioned fire signs. You could also be dealing with the fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius um, could mean something to you, could not, but could be dealing with someone who has fire in their chart. But I feel like after this betrayal, some of you are going to take the lessons from this betrayal because the change card came out and this is about having courage. Some of you might actually walk away from the situation as well. You can see this person walking away, packing their bags and moving on. Um, and again, forgiveness. Forgiveness is for you, not for the other person. So always remember that um, it's so that you can move on, um, not necessarily giving the other person an out in whatever it was that they have done what is this sacred sexuality please or 
all your cards are falling on the ground. My goodness. But um, sacred sexuality. So someone here is going through some type of awakening. Um, this could be a past life connect connection with this um, remember here. Why is the sacred sexuality here? Someone here is going to get their wish fulfillment. Um, but right now, you are in some type of separation. But someone here is longing for the other person, that, would, especially with that sacredness of this card, um, that tantricness of that card. Someone here is longing um, for the other person. And even if someone walked away, um, the other person is longing for them. Or even like both of you could be longing for each other. Um, someone here in a situation is definitely um, closed off and guarded. And this could be your twin. So that is probably why this is happening the way it is. Usually with twin flame connections, it's about learning and evolving and um, moving forward. So maybe there was a lesson here within this whole situation that you needed to learn. And... Um, once you learn that lesson, you can go ahead and move to the next phase. But right now you need need to um, learn what it is you, you need to learn to, for your highest good from your higher self. And again, everything happens for a reason. Trust the process um, because you absolutely could be dealing with someone who is your twin. Maybe why this mutual symbiotic is here and a sacred sexuality. Those are, those are very twin flamey type of cards for me. And I feel like those those are things that you potentially could be um, why this is all here because you're, you're meant to learn something from this person but you need to forgive even if it's forgiving yourself for how the situation is gone because technically you may not have done anything but you may have brought this on yourself so I hope that this is helpful to you Gemini's let me know if this is your story don't forget to like share and subscribe and to leave me a comment you guys take care and you be safe and I will speak to you soon